Good morning, everyone. It's Lita. How are you today? So I thought I would pop on this morning and have my little coffee with you guys and have a little chat about something that I have been doing lately that has been really changing things for me. And I thought it might change things for you too. So pop on on and say hi. So I know that you're here and we'll have a little chat about it. Mm. Well, today's coffee is black and uh, I still don't get totally used to black coffee. I don't know about you guys, but like it's okay. It does the job, but it sure is not my fatty coffee. That's for sure. Hi, Veronica. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> it's like, <clears throat> excuse me, and I've got a little frog in my throat. I don't know about you guys. Good morning, Hannah. I don't know about you guys, but this time change business, it just really messes me up. And so I had a routine you know, like most people do a set time that I usually go to bed and then I would sleep straight. I was a really good sleeper. Ever since this time change has really messed me up. So I feel like I'm just, I don't know, I'm going to bed too early and then I'm kind of waking up in the night and I don't know, I'm just kind of like thrown off a little bit. But anyway, black coffee will certainly do it. It's good enough. Mm. What I'm doing today, sidebar, is uh, I'm having my black coffee till about two. And then at two o'clock, I'm going to break my fast, intermittent fast. Um, and then before that, I'm actually gonna do my workout because I like to do my workout fasted. And then I will have my beloved fatty coffee at two o'clock and I'm already excited for that. It's like, it's the, the best part of my day. Like I <laughs> actually, it's a bit of an event. I get, make my fatty coffee and it's like super exciting, yeah. Yes, yes. So good morning, everyone. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was a better way to measure your success than the scale. And what I wanted to say is that I have been a scale watcher since I was probably 10. Sadly, um, that's how we were brought up, right? The scale was everything. So when you're used to that, and uh, good morning, Lori. When you're used to that as being your measurement of success, it can be very, very defeating when you get on that scale and it does not show the effort that you feel like you have put in. And I know you guys all know what I'm talking about. So you kill it, you're doing an awesome keto and you're exercising and you're saying no to certain things and then you get on that scale and then you see that number. And it's like, if the number changes the way that you had hoped, yay, you're excited, right? It's an awesome day and you feel so good about yourself. But if it doesn't, if it stays the same or if it, God forbid, gets worse, it could literally ruin your day. I mean, unless you have really good resolve and you know how this all works and whatever, but mentally, you know, I think for most of us, it, it crushes us. So it really is not the best way anyways, because muscle is much more dense than fat. So if you were to take, I wish I had, like I should have brought a thing of butter here is what I should have done to show you. But if you had like a pound of fat and then a pound of muscle, right? For the same, it's, the muscle is going to take up way less space on your body than the fat. And so that's why the scale is just not accurate whatsoever. There are so many better ways. Well, first of all, I ditched my scale back in July because I had just had it. I literally threw it in the closet. Good morning, Lisa. I uh, threw it in the, closet, or the cupboard because I was just so tired of looking that darn scale. Best thing I ever did, honestly. I feel so much better about myself without the scale. But then since then, it's like, well, what, what is a person going to do? Well, easy, easy, and super cheap and very effective is measuring tape. Okay, I'll get onto the screen here. Right, get one of these little babies, go to the fabric store. Don't use the one that's in the, the toolbox <laughs> because it's like really hard and stiff and it's not going to work. But just get a fabric one. You probably have one kicking around somewhere in a sewing kit or something like that. And so that one is super good. And so you take all the measurements, you know, like around your neck and around your chest and your arms and all that kind of stuff. Have a little book. I actually have a little book where I track, you know, experiments that I'm doing and measurements and weights and things like that. But take your measurements all over your body and then redo it every month. You will be shocked. Like the scale may not change one single little bit, 
but you do this and I promise you that you will see changes and you'll go, wow, I went down an inch or I went down a half an inch or whatever. That is success right there. That is way more success in the scale. The other thing is clothing. Clothing is huge. Just trying on stuff that you haven't tried on for a long time, like if they're, they were always a little bit snug or whatever. I actually have like, and I, I call it this, I actually have a shrine and I call it a shrine because I keep clothes in there that are specifically tighter than what would be socially acceptable. So like I would not feel comfortable wearing them out. Um, I don't think, you know, I just think it's like a little bit much or whatever, but I know how they fit and I keep them in my little shrine. And then once a week or once every two weeks or something like that, I pull them out and I try them on. And it's like, okay, this is fitting a little bit better. This sits nicer on my body, you know, or whatever. And it's awesome. And then when it gets to the point where that piece of clothing actually fits you, like last week I had these pants that I had gotten and they were too tight, like no way would I wear them out. And then after about three weeks or something like that, they totally fit. And it was like, yay, it was really exciting. And I wore them out that night. I mean, that's success, right? Like, and honestly, I don't know about the scale because I wasn't getting on it at that point, but I'll tell you about my change later. But it, it totally did it for me. It totally did it for me to see that these pants fit and I like was in a super good mood that night. But the very, very best way for you guys to check, but this requires you to have to find someone that does this and then you're going to have to pay a little bit. It certainly wasn't expensive in my town, is a 3D body scan. Is a 3D body image. Yeah, scanners, that's what it's called. They go by different names. And what you need to do is you need to go, just phone around to the different gyms that you have in town and phone around. And it's not going to be, honestly, it's probably not going to be your Planet Fitness. And I honestly don't even know if it would even be a gold gym. I think it's going to be a different level than that. So this gym where I heard about it, um, I would never go, <laughs> I would never go to this gym. I'm hugely intimidated. I'm not kidding you. You walk in and there's like people in there getting ready for their competitive bodybuilding, whatever. They're very, very nice people. Don't get me wrong, but it's just, it's not my comfort zone, right? I like Planet Fitness. I like the purple machines or whatever, but they had this particular scanner and it was like $29.99 Canadian. So whatever that is, you know, US. And I don't know if Beth is on here, but oh, Beth, hey, Beth, you are here. Maybe you could comment on here because I know that Beth gets it done at her gym. So how much would it be that or is it part of your gym membership? Yeah, I don't know. I had to pay extra for it. So anyways, um, yeah, so it was like $29.99 and it's this like round thing that you stand on and you put your arms out and it spins you around like a model car, like super slow. And it takes all of your measurements of your body. I'm talking like around my neck, my chest, my arms. I mean, probably better than if I use a tape measure, but it took all the measurements and my weight and my height. And that's what I was going to say was that um, I actually do know what my weight is now, even though I put away the scale like way back in, what was it, July or something like that. But like now I know because I got the scan and it told me, but that's okay. Um, but darn good thing, sidebar, good thing I, I didn't go by the scale because like it didn't move a whole ton. So good thing I wasn't looking at that scale this whole time or I would have been kind of sad. But anyways, so it takes all the scan and it, the best, best part is that it measures your fat percentage and it measures your muscle percentage. I have never had this done. Like I said, I think Beth has had this done um, a few times at least. Um, yes, yeah, scale is in a time up, totally. Um, it was incredible. I could not believe it. Like, first of all, I thought in my mind that my fat percentage was higher, probably because I do have a quote unquote smart scale at home and it's got these little pads on it. And when you stand on it, it tells you what your fat percentage is way off. Like that, that was not accurate whatsoever. Um, so, you know, take that with a grain of salt if you have one of those. Um, this was really accurate. And, and the trainer that I'm working with, because I set, signed up for five sessions with this trainer just to kind of like up my game a little bit. And then I, I just do it at my own gym or I do it at home. But she was able to tell me based on my age and my height and everything and my muscle percentage that she actually said that like, your muscle percentage is good it could get better but it's good which is awesome like we definitely want that as we get a little older we want lots of muscle um but she said where my um, fat percentage was so she said in order to be your 
what she called perfect body composition, like so for my form or whatever, what will be good for me, that I need to lose 20 pounds of fat. So that was awesome. First of all, woohoo, because I've already lost about 60. So what's another 20, right? I know I can do that. I'm not worried about that. But just to have that number, because how many of us get on the scale? And I don't know if you guys are like glory days or whatever from college and are like, oh, yeah, my goal weight is X, right? How do we really know that that is our goal weight? Like, how do we actually know that? Like, if we're just going back, you know, from when we were younger, or whatever, um, things have changed, your muscle amount has changed, your age has changed, you know, maybe being that low, maybe wouldn't be the healthiest thing for you or whatever. But using a machine like this, that really tells you like how much extra fat you have on your body, right? That was like huge. So now I have, you know, like this number, and again, not going by the scale, because it means nothing. But every, you know, five weeks or so, I'm going to keep going back and I'm going to get another scan because I want to see that my muscle percentage is going up and my fat percentage is going down. Now, in the slim chance that it doesn't go my way, <laughs> I'm hoping that I do everything well and, and it does go my way and I don't care if it's slow, it doesn't bother me at all, um, then I need to change something then obviously something that I am doing is not working. Maybe I need to fast more or maybe I need to work hard, harder or something. And I will, my trainer is actually really good. She's not keto specifically, but she is really good with, um, you know, physical fitness and things like that. And she understands how keto works. And so anyways, I mean, that's what, what this is all about, right? Good morning, Susan. Um, this is what this is all about is tweaking and finding out what works for you. Like we've all talked about many times, what works for one does not work for another, especially when it comes to food. So think about something like this. Think about maybe, I'm not saying like don't use your scale because I know how it is because believe me, I was there. But if possible, try to use other things. Try to use your tape measure. Try to use how your clothing fits. Look into getting one of these 3D body scanners. I, you know, I'm guessing that if, Canada <laughs> if I it can if I can find it in my town of 85,000 people I am sure that you guys can find it and you know it's a treat for yourself you know maybe you can uh, add it to your Christmas list or something I'm just gonna see if Beth said oh lucky okay so Beth said that she gets her 3d body scan every month as part of her gym membership and you know what it I never asked about that because this gym is, like I said, it's like pretty hardcore. Like, I mean, I actually saw someone like greasing up in the corner with like oil or something and they were taking pictures or something. I mean, I don't know. I'm just like, oh my gosh, show me where the machines are, right? Just set it and forget it. Um, but anyways, uh, that probably is an option with that gym. I just don't want to, you know, join it as like a regular member, but I'm sure it probably was. Maybe someday, you know what? Maybe someday I'll get to the um, the Beth and the Eric and the Ashley um level of fitness right now it's like fake it till you make it because like I'm honestly just I'm I'm trying to do it and I and I am doing it and I'm putting my all into it but I don't love it yet so I'm hoping I will get to that part so oh that's awesome I'm just reading Annette's comment here that she bought a couple of jackets a couple of years ago didn't try them on they both fit extra room not only do the buttons oh so you bought them a while ago and then you okay and you didn't try them on but now there's lots of room that that is such a fantastic non-scale victory Annette. that is amazing and that's honestly that is what we need to go by seriously trying on clothes taking measurements getting the body scan whatever these are the things the scale She's such a, I always say as a, as a joke, I always say she, she's a fickle bitch because she is not honest. He, actually, it's a he. Scales are he's because for obvious reasons. But it's not accurate, right? And then we, we just feel so bad about ourselves. It's just like absolutely not worth it. So you guys seriously try these other things if you can put your scale away. In fact, maybe I'll have a challenge in the group where I'll say, let's go for one month without getting on the scale and let's use our tape measures and let's use some tight fitting clothing and things like that. And then just say, see if we can do it because seeing that number on the scale can be so defeating and you guys are doing fantastic. You don't need to have that on you, right? So anyways, that's what's working really well for me and I will keep you posted on how that's going because I get my scan in four more weeks. So very excited about that. Anyway, so you guys have a really super day and enjoy your coffee or whatever it is that you're drinking right now. And 
I'm going to work out. So, yay. So excited. Anyway, you guys have an awesome day. Take care. Bye. Hey guys, before you go, hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell notification so you can be notified every time we have a new video posted. Also down in the description, I will have links to everything that we talked about in our chat today, including information on how you can join my Intentionally Bear Keto Support Group. See you next time.